What's up, gamers? We are back again with another weekly update for you guys from Gorilla Games. I'm John, and this is Jay. What's up? And we're going to run down what's been happening at the store and in video game land and magic land over the last week. Let's get right into it. Video games wasn't too much this week. Um, they did announce a new Pokemon uh, update that is supposedly coming soon. It's like a buddy system, mm -hmm. and so I guess what you can do is like pick a Pokemon, and it will walk with you when you're walking. Okay. And it'll generate candy. For Pokemon is, Go? Nice. Yeah, for Pokemon Go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pokemon yeah. Go. We're not talking about yeah, Sun and Moon. Sun yet. And Moon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that's really cool, because like, I have two Pikachus, I think, and I'll probably never yeah, yeah, see yeah, another I, yeah, one. Yeah, so. Or like Porygon. Yeah. Like so, really crazy rare ones. So now you can generate some candy. Like I have, a, I have an Omanyte that I hashed on like day one in an egg. I haven't seen another Omanyte yeah, since. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So it's a way to, uh, hopefully, unless Niantic screws it up somehow, it's somehow yeah. <laughs> uh, it'll be a cool way to, to up your Pokemon, uh, which is totally cool. Um, and we are a gym also. Yeah. So. True. Come on in, bring your Pokemon, battle for the gym, and once this new update gets released, you can walk around with your Pokemon. So that'll be cool. They also, and some more Nintendo news, that's about all we have to talk about this week, <laughs> yeah. um, they announced a new Mario game coming to uh, iPhone and Android mm -hmm. apps uh, in December, uh, I think they said it was. But So is it going to be like the classic Mario yes. games? Yes, so it gonna be like... it's side-scrolling, it's called Super Mario Run. Okay. Um, it's okay. It's side scrolling. Mario doesn't stop moving. It's kind of like Flappy Bird. Yes. Okay. You you just it's just one button. So you're jumping. You're stringing gotcha. together different jumps. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. There's Goombas. There's coins. You're mm -hmm. trying to catch the coins and not get hit by the Goombas and stuff like that. Um, but it looks just like Super Mario Brothers. So that looks Sweet. awesome, especially yeah. for another. I know Nintendo's finally getting into the mobile um, yeah, yeah. with Pokemon. Mm -hmm. They did that. I don't know if you tried it, that Mia, Miyamoto, that was like their very first app, it was supposed to be like a social app, Yeah. I didn't get it at all. Yeah, I, I haven't <laughs> tried anything from them. I tried it, it was what? like, what? what is this, it doesn't make sense, so I kind of mm -hmm. just cut it out with that. Um, but yeah, that's about it, video game wise, WoW, uh, Legion came out mm -hmm. for World of Warcraft. I, uh, I haven't played in like three or four years, so, so. I I played since beta. Okay. Like, I was in beta one, and I loved World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. For six years, I loved World of Warcraft. I didn't stop playing. It yeah. was awesome. And then Cataclysm came out, and it really fell kind of short for me. Mm -hmm. um, and so I quit for a little bit during that, and then I came back for Pandas and played through the Pandas <laughs> and all yeah. that. And I really enjoyed Pandas, but after that, it was just more of the same, and I didn't really care mm -hmm. anymore. Um, and so then I came back for the last expansion, too, but only for like a month. I don't even yeah. know if I'm going to for this one. I haven't tried it yet, full disclosure. It's out. I haven't tried it. I have friends who are saying, it's great. It's the most yeah. fun I've had in WoW in a long time. And it's like, yeah, but you all people always say that, you know, when, yeah. it, when the new... And it'll be like, you know, a month and a half later. And, and everyone's gone again. again. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, I don't know. I might try it. I might not. I've heard they've added, like, this cool weapon thing where I guess you don't find weapons anymore you get okay. like an artifact weapon okay and then you can upgrade it and i guess you can at first glance i was like that i don't like that you know because I, I like being mm -hmm. able to go out and find newer better weapons and stuff that look different and look cooler but i guess you can adjust everything about this it's stats and the way it looks that's um, cool. by upgrading it and stuff so that seems kind of yeah neat. that's how um like i played city of villains back in the day and it was kind of similar where like your uh like your gear was just like tokens that you right. put and slotted into yeah. things. So yeah, so I don't know. I, m I might check it out. I always tend to. <laughs> with yeah, I mean, like I said, so. I uh, I I have never personally paid for a subscription to World of Warcraft. I uh -huh. dated a girl who was, who was super into it, and she, I was I wasn't really that into it. And she's like, "Well, if I get you a subscription, will you play with me?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." I got Kira, my wife, into it. Yeah, uh, way back in the day, and we used to sit up all night and play. Um, but now we, we have two kids at home, so yeah, there's, there's, exactly. no, there's like no time I, for raiding or anything anymore. Um, so that's wow, that's probably one of the reasons WoW kind of took a back, back burner for me. I still love the game. I, I'm i still not sold on everything they've done in the game mm -hmm. since vanilla, but um, it's still a good game. And if you're really into it, you should probably go check it out. Yeah. Uh, it, is a, it is out now. So um, if I do jump in, 
we'll talk more about it later. <laughs> which yeah, I, sure. I probably will. Yeah. I should just be honest with myself. I, I think we have I think we have hours. a thirty uh, a thirty day card back there and I'm oh, gonna well, there you go. Yeah. Snag it and, and jump in for, it. Yeah, for, sure. for a month and see what goes on. But that's about it for video games this week. Um, magic though. We have a so, bunch yeah, more spoilers. Yeah, so there's uh, so last time we did the update, it was like right at the beginning of PAX, so they didn't have like a ton of uh, spoilers at that point. And Jay was all, oh my gosh, Hot Wheels! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, there actually has been like decent ve uh, vehicles that yes. they've released since. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so there's a ton more spoilers that have been released. Um, probably the two biggest things that people are excited for are the new enemy uh, fast lands. Um, so one of the biggest changes there is... As it stands right now, in modern, um, Jund is a superior deck to Abzan just because the mana base is better. You have access to Black Cleave Cliffs. Now that there's uh, enemy fast lands, Abzan has a symmetric mana base to Jund. So now it's literally just like everything is equal. Um, you know, like blue red Delver lists, they get fast lands now too. So overall, things are just um, getting smoothed over in the world of modern. Um, the other really big thing is Gear Hulks, which if you guys have never played with Titans, um, back in the day Titans were were the meta. Um, it was basically like you were paying six mana for like twelve mana worth of things, like a six mana creature plus like another six mana spell stapled onto it. And so all the Gear Hulks are like that. Um, I actually, I played I played Magic back in like middle school, high school, and then stopped forever until, Correct. like, a year or two ago. So. Yeah, so, um, so M, I think it was, like, M11 or M12, there were the Titans, um, and the Titans were things like Primeval Titan, which is, like, mm -hmm. two, two green, four colorless for a 6-6. Six, six. You get to ramp twice whenever it enters that for four attacks. Um, so, for example, there's this new thing called Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. It's two white, three colorless for a 5-4 Vigilance, which you're like, all right, you, you'd probably pay about five mana for that. It's nothing like that you'd write home about, but it's pretty cool. But it literally has Cataclysm stapled to it, which Cataclysm is, you know, an, an old school card, kind of like Tragic Arrogance, where you pick an artifact, a creature, a planeswalker, and then you have to sacrifice all the other permanents of that type. Mm. Um, and it's for both of you. So you're basically getting like a, a Wrath stapled to a 5 4 body, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, cool. Um, the, they haven't spoiled the red one yet. I'm assuming the red one's probably going to be something along the lines of... What is that one? Uh, so, Cataclysmic is white. Oh, okay. uh, there's the green one, which is two green, three colorless for a 4-4 four, four trample. When it comes into play, you can put four plus one plus one counters on creatures you control, oh. including itself. So is you can have the, an eight eight trample for five mana. That's not the hide that's not the hide. There's a no, hydra. There's too, a hydra. Which kinda does bristling like hydra. Yeah, yeah. Bristling so bristling hydra. hydra um I love hydras, but this one didn't really it. do it for me. It was like Bristling uh, Hydra's actually pretty decent. It comes um, in and it can it can either put one one counters on two creatures or itself, I think is what it was, right? No. Yeah. So that's what I read. No. So the way it works is it comes into play and you get <laughs> but basically, you get three energy. You pay five, right, you and then pay you can pay the three energy to give it a one-one counter right. and give it hexproof. Yeah. So like, if somebody tries to to remove it, you can be like, oh no, it's a five-four. Yeah. And if you're working um, with other energy, I guess you could pay. That you can over you and can over keep, again. keep doing it over and over so. and over again. You're thinking of the angel. So oh, there's the angel. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Which uh, it's a. An two angel, one angel of uh, actually have a written invention. Down. Angel of invention. Two white, three colorless for Flying an angel. Flying vigilance, two one. Yeah, fabricate two. two. Yeah. Other creatures get plus one, plus one. Yeah. So it's like a two one that comes with two 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 bodies, which is pretty sweet. Yep. Um, I'm personally excited for the noxious gear hulk. Four colorless, two black for an artifact creature. Five four with menace. When it enters the battlefield, you can destroy another target creature. If a creature is destroyed this way, you gain life equal to its toughness. So it's literally just like a. Like I said, it's a removal spell staple to a 5-4 body, which yeah. is just awesome. Um, the <clears throat> um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of really sweet cards. Um, probably the two... Well, the, the one that's been getting the uh, most excitement <laughs> is Chandra, Torture of Defiance. Because her artwork is amazing. Or as people have been calling her, <laughs> Chandra the Fire Sculptor. Yeah. Um, people have been drawing comparisons to Jason the Mind Sculptor, which is the best Planeswalker they've ever created. Um, a lot of it has to do with the fact that she's got four abilities, and they're actually, like, four relevant abilities. It's yeah. not just, like, oh, here's a random one thrown in just because. 
Um, so it's two red, two colorless uh, for four loyalty, Chandra Planeswalker, plus one. Exile the top card of your library, you may cast that card. If you don't, deals two damage to each opponent, which is alright. Plus one, add two red mana to your mana pool. So she helps you out ramping. Yeah. Um, people have been saying like, it's basically like she's a two mana Planeswalker, which is just insane. Yeah. Uh, minus three, deal four damage to target creature. So she comes down, she can remove something. And then finally, minus seven, whenever you, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a spell, the emblem deals five damage to target creature player. So her ultimate isn't quite as strong as she's got, Mind Sculptors. She's got three um, other abilities yeah. which are... Her <laughs> ultimate is not decent. just yeah. target player wins the game. Which is generally what you see from uh, from planeswalkers nowadays. So that's like the one shortcoming that she has. Um, but other than that, I think she's real sweet. Um, I think you're going to be seeing her a lot. Um, they also have the new Nissa, which is Nissa Nissa Vital Force. Two green, three colorless. Comes in with five loyalty. Plus one tap target land you control until your next turn. It becomes a five five elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. Minus three return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Minus six, you get an emblem with whenever a land enters the battlefield under control, you may draw a card. So what's cool about that is you can literally play her plus her and then alter on the next turn, yep. which is pretty nuts. Um, like, it's it's pretty hard to be like, do you have a response to this? Oh, you don't? Then it just happens. Yeah. Um, so I think she's going to be real good, too. Um, there's been lots of, like, really crazy cards that they've been spoiling, too. Um, like, the one... Uh, I think yesterday that they spoiled. I saw it was Midnight Tinkering, but I guess they've changed it now and it's called Night Owl. Okay. Um, but basically the way it works is it's two black, two colorless for an enchantment. It comes into play with seven time counters on it. At the start of your upkeep, you draw an extra card and then get rid of two time counters. And then any uh, your maximum hand size is equal to the number of time counters on it. And whenever you discard a card, you lose a life. So it's one of those things where it's like, it's going to give you, it's the classic black card of like, it gives you an advantage like for the next couple turns, and then it's a significant disadvantage after that. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be cool. It's it's not quite as good a replacement for Demonic Pact for like any of the Harmless Offering decks, but uh, but I think it's going to be sweet. I think we're, um, definitely people are going to be trying to brew around it. Um, another really sweet card that I saw is, it's functionally... A re it's like a strictly better version of Kendo Ice Bridge. Um, it's called Aether Hub. When it enters the battlefield, you get an energy counter. Tap, add a colorless to your mana pool. Tap, pay an energy, add one of any color to your mana pool. It's an uncommon, which is just really crazy when you consider that like Kendo Ice Bridge, I think is like a $10 card right now, and they're basically like reprinting it, but making it better. Yeah. Um, except for strategies where you have like doubling season or proliferate or any kind of weirdness like that um some sweet commander cards like campbell console of allocation one colorless white black for a two three legendary creature human advisor whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell that player loses two life and you gain two life um you're probably going to be seeing that all over the place in commander um there's the common cycle of creatures that give you energy the thriving ibex thriving turtle thriving rats um, if you're definitely like an energy based deck, you're probably going to be playing a lot of those. Um, sorry, I've got a lot to. There's so a I'm ton. Just trying to, yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to crank through them as fast <coughs> as I can. I saw um, one I saw was Aetherflux Reservoir. Okay. I thought that one that one kind of stood out to me. Uh, it was at four cost. Um, you get uh, you gain one life for each spell cast each yes. turn. Correct. And then if you get up to fifty life. You can, 51 you, can spend 50 you can spend 50, 50 life yeah. to deal 50 damage. I thought that yeah, was kind of nuts. pretty sweet, especially yeah. <laughs> in, like, uh, like Commander. Like, yeah. I have a life gain deck, so that's basically just, like, I play this and I can just start yeah. fireballing. Every people. time, by the time you're, you cast a few spells. Yeah, like, I was at 602 life, life yeah. uh, the last time I played, so, and so then it's that, 50, that's pretty sweet. 50 um, blast. There's also a sort of a throwback to the uh, Black Sensation Grinding Station uh, sort of uh, suite that they made in Mirrodin. They now have animation module uh, de decoction mo module and then fabrication module. Um, basically, the way it starts out is whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are placed on a permanent control, you may pay one. So let's say that you... Well, let, let's start with uh, decoction module, right? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, get an energy counter. So you can be like, all right, I'll play... You know, my uh, I'll play my 
you know, noxious gear hulk, right? So you're like, all right, sweet, so you get an energy. Then fabrication module says, whenever you get one or more energy, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. So you're like, all right, so I play my gear hulk, I get an energy, I'll put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Then animation module says, whenever one or more plus one, plus one counters are placed on a permanent control, you may pay one if you do create a one, one colorless servo. So you be like, all right, sweet. So I played my gear hulk, I get an energy, I'll put it, uh, Put the plus one plus one on it. I'll make a servo. I'll pay one, uh, and like if you're and not it just already keeps confused and just want going to on over and over and over again. <laughs> so basically, for one mana, uh, at any time, either when you get an energy, when you put a plus one plus one counter on something, or when you get a creature for one mana, you basically just get a one one that comes with an energy and a plus one plus one counter. So that again, that that goes back to if you played in Mirrodin, there was like the grinding station, blasting station. Uh, combo where it's just like you know infinite yeah. and what's actually really cool about it is if you read the flavor text the flavor text on all three of them flows together so on animation module it says design leads to progress on decoction module it says progress leads to inspiration and then on fabrication module it says inspiration leads to design which goes back to design leads to progress never ending cycle so I thought that was kind of a cool um, flavor win um, that also like I said harkens back to to things that they've done in the past. Um, so I think the set is shaping up to be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I still don't think that Hot Wheels is no. is, is, is going to be. I thought there was a, a few deck. in there that were pretty cool. Like that one. What was so it? So there's like shoot a three so there's like there's like two five five. vehicles that I think are good and like fringe playable, playable. But really, it's just because. So the first one I actually think is is kind of, is the first one I was like, this is actually a good card. Is Smuggler's Copter. Yeah. So it's two mana, two mana. for a 3-3 three, three flyer with crew one. Whenever it attacks or blocks, you get to draw a card if you do discard a card. So, like, it's good because it's got evasion and it loots cards. And it only costs you one. Yeah. Like, that's... There's another one. I think one. that one's really There's another good. one that costs three. It's a 5-5 five, five that costs three. You have to and pilot can... it with three. And you can tap it for mana. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, um, that one I thought seemed pretty, pretty outlandish. That too. one seemed okay. I mean, if you're running like if you're running something that's generating tokens every turn, like a Nissa or something, pilot it with three plants, you know, <laughs> and just go to town with a five-five. Yeah, uh, I know I which know. one you're talking about. Yeah, that's that's the one that stood out to me that was just spoiled. Recently. I think I think the copter though. I think the copter has I mean, it's, it's got the flying. The most, that, yeah, it's yeah. got the flying and it lets you filter cards for sure, which I think uh, gives it the strongest chance of actually seeing play. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I, I like the concept. Um, I hope that I actually do hope. Like you were saying last week, I hope that it does work out because it would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, caravan yeah, cultivator. Yep. So you can tap it to add one mana to your mana pool. It's a three cost for a five five pilot three. I but think the hard part with that is piloting it with three. Exactly. I think that's why personally, I think the pilot copter yeah. is is probably going to be the most likely to be seen because it's like you know how hard is it to, to be like oh I have a random one one so yeah. I'm not, not doing anything. Whereas yeah. it's like you know tapping three power with a yeah. creature yeah. that's pretty significant. And also, like, I think the evasion is really going to be the big thing. Yeah. Um, because a 3-3 three, three flyer, is, I would say, is much harder to deal with than a 5-5 five, five ground creature. Yeah. Um, but that's just me. Yeah, definitely. They also they also announced, announced spoiled the uh, the Planeswalker decks, Planeswalkers. Correct. The Nissa and the Chandra, which are great. Yes. So the Chandra is, like, literally just a worse version <laughs> of the regular Chandra. Yeah. So Chandra Pyrogenius is four colorless, two red. Comes in with five loyalty, which is an upgrade over uh, Torch of Defiance. Um, but she does plus two, deal two damage to each opponent, which you'll realize is just a worse version of, yeah. you know, exile the top card of your deck if you don't play it, deal two damage to yeah. each opponent. Her minus three is deal four damage to target creature, which is the same thing that Torch of Defiance does. And then her ult is deal six damage to target player each creature he or she controls. But it's a minus ten. Yeah. Um, these these aren't meant to be great because they're correct. going. That was into the number one planeswalker intro packs. The number one worry people had when these were made were that they were going to somehow break standard by producing standard cards that were too good that weren't um, available for like mass purchase. 
So, like, for example, all the cards that you can find in those, like, starter decks that they give out, those are technically standard playable. Yeah. So, like, Nightmare is in the black deck. You can play Nightmare if you want in standard, and it's legal, but you can't buy a Nightmare from anywhere. You can only get it from the starter deck. So people were worried that these uh, Planeswalkers that they are going to introduce would somehow break the format by being too good or, or something like that. Um, I and don't think we have to worry about No, that. yeah. When you look at them, they really don't do anything really crazy or really powerful. Nissa's okay. I think it's I think it's actually really good, though, for the game. Um, because when we when we sell, you know, intro packs to people, mm-hmm. the first thing they're asking is, what's a Planeswalker? What does that do? Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and now this is really going to give people a way to really get a feel for what standard actually feels like right. without giving them something amazing. <laughs> plus, I mean, plus, I mean, when you think about it, like the intro pack rares have always just been kind of garbage anyway. Yeah. Aside from like P and Kieran and Drowner of Hope, yeah. Um, so it, it's just a cool thing to be like now. As soon as you start out, like beginning players have a Planeswalker. Yeah, like they have a really sweet mythic they can card. Fe- you can get a feel for it, and then yeah. they can swap it out for the real. <laughs> exactly, and it's not like it's not like the card is terror is like sucks or no. anything. Like it's it's a decent card, but it's it's definitely not going to be like. You know, breaking the game exactly yeah. so um yeah so yeah that's about that's it a, uh, i mean like i stuff. said there's uh, and tons there's, and tons of spoilers i kind of just come, right so. yeah like they like i said they still haven't spoiled the red gear hulk um i think it i said it would be sweet if they did like wildfire they're never going to do wildfire but wildfire would be awesome which wildfire is uh, destroy each player sacrifices four lands, deal six damage to everything. Yeah. Um, so I was just trying to think of like some really yeah. stupid big red spell that they could save <laughs> it to it. I think it's probably going to be something like deal five damage divided as you choose yeah. among creatures or players, some sweet like that. Um, and then it's probably going to have either haste or first strike, um, which are which are your classic red. It'll be um, cool. This set's shaping up to be to be to be interesting. That's yeah, sure. um, and it, it definitely now that. There's uh, a lot of, like, ETB effects on on everything. Um, So Sahili Rai's stock is continuing to rise. Um, I still don't think that she's that great. Uh, (laughs) I still don't think that she'll really see a ton of play really pretty much anywhere. Um, But she at least has cool stuff to tutor for. You can be like, oh, I'm playing... Here's my Grixis deck with Sahili Rai, and I'll get all these Gear Hulks. Be like, here's a blue Gear Hulk, I get an instant. Here's a black Gear Hulk, I blow that thing up. Here's the red Gear Hulk, I shoot you for five. Now I have these three big creatures. So at that point, it's kind of like win win the game. Yeah, for sure. Um, So the other big uh, news that happened in Magic this week was uh, World, the World Championships. Uh, So Brian Braun doing one. He played uh, Bant Company for Standard. He played Bant Drazi for Modern. Um, so Bant continues to just take over the world and form the meta. Um, I think what was really surprising was for Modern, like half of the field was Abzan. Um, and it was really because Grim Flare had just come out, and Grim Flare is just kind of like taking over, and that's like the new cool toy that everybody's playing yeah. with. Um, and then Liliana and the Last Hope is actually like all over the place in Modern, which nobody thought was going to happen because Liliana the Veil is just such a uh, stalwart yeah. staple. Um, but yeah, uh, Worlds, I, I watched pretty much every round um, and it was a lot of Bant mirror matches and um, that was like it was he's playing, really so. <laughs> yeah it was really tough to watch but it was also like really interesting, really interesting yeah um, probably the coolest thing that happened is uh, Steve Rubin showed up with like basically the entire field was either Bant Company or uh, I think Seth Manfield played Spirits or everybody else was like Emrakul either you had Bant Company in your deck or you had Emrakul um, and then. Uh, Steve Rubin showed up with this really sweet green blue crush deck. Yeah. Um, that kind of took over. Um, and I, I thought that was really sweet that somebody actually showed up with, like, here's a deck that I'm trying to, you know, some, some innovation. Yeah. It wasn't just like, oh, we're going to go. Everybody else was just kind of uh, like, we're going to go with the tried and true method. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was yeah. that was pretty much about it in the world of magic. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we'll just keep 
keep spoiling the spoiler. Yeah, here. absolutely. <laughs> so <laughs> as the uh, calendar as they keep release, coming out, yeah, uh, it's coming closer. It so come on in and, and get pre-registered for that, guys. Uh, yeah. Definitely, it's the end of this month. Uh, we're gonna do a midnight and probably a two-headed giant again, like we normally yep. do on that Sunday. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Tournament-wise, I know we had um, Smash Four uh, went off pretty good this week, mm -hmm. um, and uh, Sealed League ended. So yes, I, I came in. You, I came in second. You came in second. Tony yeah, came, in came in first. Tony came in first. Uh, who came in third? And they tied. Uh, Tyler and Sean. They tied for third. Yep. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. We're gonna do another one the week that Kaladesh actually drops. Mm -hmm. Not pre-release week, but the very. The very next week when the set drops, um, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Everyone loves it, so come on in uh, and take part in that as well. It's really good for, especially if you're like just getting into Magic. It's great. Yeah. It's like if you're just getting into it, it's great. If you've been playing for years, it's great. Just because everyone's uh, on an even playing. Field exactly. And, if you've yeah. been playing for years, like me, I love it just because you see so many cards you wouldn't normally see. Yeah. Like, you're just like, oh, man, I'm getting, like, beaten to death by a more crit necropod. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you're just like, who would play this card? It's because it's the only one I Yeah, had. exactly. <laughs> um, or, like, I had a, um, jeez, I forget the name of it. Newscraft mob. Oh, Newscraft yeah. mob is just, like, six drop that just poops out zombies. And, like, <laughs> no one would, in their right mind, ever play that in, like, constructed. But, like, in sealed, it's just, like, yeah. it did a ton of work for yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> so I like it for that reason. If you're just starting out, it's great because, like, you don't have to invest in a ton of cards. Right. So. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So come on out for that. Um, this coming weekend, like, tomorrow, we've got mm -hmm. Smash again. Uh, we're doing another conspiracy draft at 1 o'clock on Saturday. And then we've got um, our Street Fighter Five tournament this mm -hmm. Sunday at 2 o'clock. So come on out for that. If you have a system with all the characters un unlocked and everything, it would be awesome if you brought it, and we'll even comp your venue fee if you do. So mm -hmm. come on out for that. should be a lot of fun. That's about it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's much else. There's another uh, Halo tournament at the end of the month again. Just announcement for that on the 25th. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's that's it for this week. Yeah. So. Star Trek turned 50. That was a big. That was a big deal. That, that is a big deal for yeah. the Trekkies out there. Yeah, exactly. I still haven't seen the new movie. Did it you was, see it? It was exactly what you would picture a Star Trek movie directed by the director of Fast and the Furious would be like. Okay. Like, like, <laughs> like there's a random like motorcycle chase in there. Where you're just like, I don't think this was ever part of Gene Roddenberry's vision. Um, I mean, it was enjoyable. Was I, it? Yeah, my dad and I had a good. Because I love the. We went to go see. I love the new the new mm -hmm. remake when they started over. I love that first one. Yeah. Um, and then the second one though, it was into darkness. Yeah, it yeah. was okay, but it wasn't like it didn't get me like. The I'd first say the I'd so. say the new one is probably better than Into Darkness, just because okay. I feel like I think the problem with Into Darkness is they. They tried just, to redo, like, the greatest there was, Star Trek movie ever. <laughs> not just that, but I feel like it was also, like, a little difficult to follow just yeah. because there's so much, like, political intrigue and yeah. stuff, which is which is sweet that they're, you know, trying to do, like, a 9-11 parable yeah. in the future, which is kind of cool. But, like, I the new one is, is it's literally, it's kind of like uh, if you saw Predators with, like, Adrian, Adrian Brody. Yeah. It's, like, the same thing where they, like crash land on a planet and they're okay. like trying to dodge all these people that are hunting them they're like trying to meet up again to leave um and uh and the red shirts Idris, die yeah Idris, uh, Idris Elba is the main villain and I love Idris Elba um so maybe cool. you really have to go see it or at least rent it when it comes mm -hmm. out I have two kids I don't have time to go to the movies anymore <laughs> but anyways that's Perfect. it for this week guys we will see you next week see you later bye